Hello guys, welcome back to yet another YouTube review. This time around I've got something which we will not get in South Africa anytime soon. And it makes me wonder why after so long will they you know, decide to sell it in South Africa. So this won't be sold in our market up until 2026. Mind you, this guy is a bit old in other markets. So I'm just trying to understand why they would do that. But anyway, we're here now. So this is a Volkswagen ID4 Pro and I think it's a good looking car. I've enjoyed the drive this week. So let me just quickly take you around the interior the exterior as well as the drive. At the front, you have obviously in true Volkswagen style a big badge on there which illuminates at night, a light bar that runs across and you've got these LED headlights in there. Obviously because it's electric, you don't have anything at the front, everything is sealed off. You do have some vents in there just maybe for cooling some of the components, but that's about it at the front. And a lot of people say it looks a bit weird and I see it, it does get a lot of attention. I do love this paintwork, it's greyish, it's giving um, Nardo grey which I do quite like. And then you've got these 19 inch alloys obviously in true electric style they are aerodynamic so that is quite cool the rubber here is hand cooked and it's it's good i haven't had any issues with that you've got a pro badge on there you've got this big wing mirror with an integrated indicator lamp in it a camera there for your 360 degree cameras what i like about this these door handles that they're not your traditional door handles obviously killers entry into the car and i think it's they're really good looking you come across the side obviously in true Volkswagen style it does somewhat slope at the rear and I think it's really good looking. I've, maybe I'm weird, call me weird, but I think it's good looking. I know a lot of people have their thoughts and say, you know, no, this doesn't look good. But I mean, at the end of the day, it looks as subjective, but I think that it looks good. My only issue though, is that we won't get this in our market up until 2026. So yeah, let me turn it around, show you the interior and go for a drive. But I'm quite upset at the fact that we won't get, and it's a really good looking car, that's why I'm upset. Why 2026? When it comes to the rear, I think a lot of thought have gone into it. It does look good and I, guys, I'm going to keep saying this, looks are subjective, but personally, I think it looks good. You obviously have an illuminated light bar that runs across because if you don't have a light bar these days, what are you doing? You've got a white Volkswagen badge as well as a white ID4 badge. And then you've got these spot lamps on here, these fog lamps essentially on here. And that's about it really. And you've got an insane amount of space, obviously, and it's actually quite insane there's a tons of boot space in there currently just sitting obviously the charging cables but i'll speak to you about that later on and that's the rear to be honest nothing much no fuss before i go i know you guys are gonna eat me in the comments i have to speak about this no electric tailgate why like Volkswagen will do things right but just leave a little thing so that you guys can be upset Exhibit A. Hi.
guys welcome to the interior of the Volkswagen ID4 you've got this obviously multifunctional steering wheel on here your gear knob has been moved onto here and you'll see this now also in the Volkswagen Tiguan and I think that is quite cool it frees up a lot of space obviously on your transmission tunnel and this driver's display which shows various information from your battery to charging whatever that you want to charge really um, it's also available on there then this massive infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto it's not wireless it's wired but it still has all these amenities that we've seen in the likes of the Golf 8 GTI etc um, you know touch screen you know where you have to kind of do that and now there we go <laughs> it's stuck um, and obviously your climate control buttons which are also very touch sensitive um, your driving assist modes like it's your driving mode it's quite hectic and i think right now it's not going through because the car is currently off let's just press there and it will show you obviously your different modes and you've got quite a lot of storage on here on here and two cup holders here two type c's up here as well as two in the rear you've got a lot of ambient option lighting in there options um, the seats are heated and I think they feel really good. The stitching that runs down looks quite cool on it. And obviously an ID logo in there. I did mention that it's heated. So that is quite the interior. Um, the rear has enough space. I'm quite happy. It's quite a massive car, to be honest with you guys. It's a, it's a massive car. And it is, I think, the same size as a Tiggy one, albeit electric. And I'm going to jump in the rear now and just show you the space in the rear in terms of how I can sit. But I am quite happy with the interior. I just don't like the fact that a lot of things here are quite touch sensitive. And it does happen a lot. Even on the steering wheel, I've been pressing this speak button a lot where automatically the car asks you, hey, how can I help? How can I help the entire time? Because obviously you can't feel what you're pressing. So that is my issue. But a wireless charger in here. A lot of space, obviously, because, I mean, there isn't any transmission here at Tunnel. So that is quite cool. All right, guys, so you join me now inside the Volkswagen ID4 Pro Drive. And instantly, I won't lie to you, right? When I had this car at launch, well, I didn't, it was a short route, really. And I just felt, okay. But now that I've lived with it for the past week, I'm actually so impressed in the capabilities of this car and what it's able to do and just how well-rounded it is as an electric vehicle i hardly say this about electric vehicles but i'm really really impressed by what volkswagen has developed in this product now this does obviously go back to what i said in, in the beginning of my video where i said that why would they not sell it immediately because obviously it's now older in the other markets but anyway but it's really good the 77 kilowatt hour battery here it's sufficient it's enough it gives you enough range um I've, the most of range i've got was over 450 kilometers and i've only charged once this week um that i've had it on test so just really the battery that goes the distance and that is quite cool and um it's got sufficient power 150 kilowatts and 310 newton meters of torque so it's not mind bonking you know electric power like what every manufacturer is doing right now where for you to be enticed in an electric vehicle they just give you crazy amounts of power that you can't handle and that just depletes the battery faster this is sufficient power it's enough pulling power it can essentially tow as well because obviously instant torque so it's great various drive modes here you've got eco you've got comfort sport as well as individual and obviously individually set up to what you like but i've found that eco is just perfect really especially in day-to-day -day driving where you're just trying to save the range what annoys me though right the seats are comfortable but what annoys me is that they are not electrically adjustable they don't have a memory function but i'll be it heated and this is where it goes back to that thing that i told you about volkswagen that they will give you a great product but skimp out on little things just so that you guys can complain and obviously they can make money off those products which is kind of sucky really because this is a great car man so like i don't see why an electric car with no electric seats I know that's I know that's stupid for me to say, but I'm just like it's something that I that my friends will say. No electric car, no electric seats. Um, but I just find it underwhelming in that regard that you give me such a great product, but you skimp out on the little things, electric tailgate. Um, you skimp out on electric electrically adjustable seats with memory. Some things like that, man. But anyway, that's that. 
it, the right soaks in the bumps very very well there's 19 inches they're massive but they soak in the right extremely gorgeous it doesn't rattle there isn't any noise that's coming into the cabin it's well insulated in here so it's 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 a well thought out product and i can imagine if you get even smaller tires when you're maybe like a 17 or 18 then you're going to literally be like you know the most comfortable ever in terms of your your drive train sorry in terms of your your drive and yeah one thing that i really haven't appreciated like i mentioned earlier in terms of my interior um was that these buttons are just too touch sensitive man and you just press unknowingly the other thing i was also, I'm also not a fan of is this oh, this iq drive um thing the safety systems this lane keep assist will drag you to your mother's house okay it will drag you inside the lane it will make sure you don't go anywhere and it's very intrusive so you just always need to make sure that whenever you come in you press that button and then you switch it off otherwise you will struggle uh, overall i do think that they've done a great job with this package the brake pedal does feel somewhat um you press it and then it just really i'm not sure if that's progressive braking but that and it goes really in so it does take some getting used to if you're not used to it it will deter you and yeah man otherwise i think it's a great package i know i would certainly buy it over the likes of your volvos uh, maybe like your volvo um c40 or yeah c40 recharge I, I think i'll take that because it just feels much more spacious but i would take this product based on the price and since we don't know the price i'm just you know guessing maybe it'll be over a million something and you're looking at the likes of the eqb eqa etc in terms of size wise and i think that this is much better of a package than your eqb and your eqa your c40s just not your ix1 or your ix3 because those are just out of this world great product so yeah great product from volkswagen i'm a fan of it i think they've done a great job and yeah don't forget to please use the link in my bio and link in my description to get a code from Naked Insurance and you could essentially, you know, save a lot of money on your insurance. I think that everybody needs to save money these days, guys. Kunzima, you know, we're all going through a lot as a country, so try and save money as much as you can. And yeah, as I always say, don't forget, keep left and pass right. I'll see you guys, into the ne I'll see you guys on the next video.